Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and we are finally here. So make sure you hit that like button for this Super Bowl. And it's been a, it's been a long season to be honest. I mean, so many injuries, and not only did we make it to this game with our starting running back hurt for like all the year, but Alex Smith missed pretty much the whole season. He's come back a couple of times, but gotten hurt. But he stayed healthy in the playoffs as our defense has balled out. So before hopping into this Super Bowl, we do want to look at our Pro Bowlers. You can see a few guys on our offensive line, actually. Brandon Sheriff and Trent Williams both made the Pro Bowl. A couple of defensive guys. You see Fabian Morrow even made it. Uh, Zach Brown made it. DJ Swearinger, no surprise there. But look at our special teams unit. Hopkins, Tressway, and Woodley all make the Pro Bowl and what's funny about Woodley is that he didn't even return kicks for half of the year and he still made the Pro Bowl as a returner so hopping into this Super Bowl you see the Chargers did defeat the Ravens in the AFC and it's a Phillip Rivers Alex Smith veteran on veteran Super Bowl and let's just talk about Phillip Rivers for a second so Phillip Rivers this is kind of his last hurrah I mean if you think about it 15 years in, no Super Bowls, only an AFC championship really to his resume, but that's about it. And I got to admit, he's still been a top 10 quarterback, even though he has not won the Super Bowl at all. I think he's just one of those guys that just nothing broke his way. He's never had a great defense, really. And it kind of reminds me of Drew Brees. Drew Brees and him are on the same level. They both have great offenses, but never a great defense. So, here comes Phillip Rivers, and you know he's going to be pumped for this game. 39 touchdowns, 12 interceptions, 4,200 yards. So here we go. We do kick the ball to the Chargers to start the game, and here they are giving it all to Melvin Gordon, and right away, Bruh. look at that glitch. Madden is already trying to glitch their way to a win here as Melvin Gordon picks up three on that one. on the next plays, throwing over the middle, Zach Brown is there for the interception. So on Phillip Rivers' first pass, he throws an interception to who else but the leading interception getter last season in Zach Brown. He had 10 last season. And now here comes Alex Smith out onto the field as he gives the ball off to Wayne Gallman, only picking up a couple yards on that one. Now facing a second and seven here, play action fake. Throwing to the left side of that one's going to be caught by Jamison Crowder at the 25-yard line. And that's going to be a first down for the Redskins. Here is Wayne Gallman on the next play, getting a handoff up the middle and picking up a big 13, 14-yard gain. So now on a first and 10, here it is, the draw play, getting inside the 5-yard line. So Wayne Gallman's already at 27 yards on three carries, but on a third and one, tossing it out to Chris Thompson, but Thompson's gonna get tackled, and we do have to settle for the field goal. So three nothing here to start this Super Bowl, as here's Phillip Rivers back out onto the field. Can he make up for his mistake on his first drive? And here he is getting it off to Melvin Gordon for a couple of yards. So facing a second and seven, here's Gordon getting the handoff out of the pistol formation, but not picking up any yards on that one so facing a third and eight here is Phillip Rivers facing the blitz gets rid of it quickly and that's caught by Tyrell Williams on the sideline for a first down so now on a second and five past the 50 but Melvin Gordon can't get going on his first three carries as they're now faced with a third and four at the 47 yard line facing another blitz and DJ Swearinger almost gets a sack but he does force the punt there as they're not quite in field goal range. And here comes Alex Smith back out onto the field, giving the ball to Gallman. He's picking up 10 yards. So our offensive line is blocking pretty well for Gallman here to start this game. As now on a third and inches, he finds another nine-yard carry up the middle as he moves the sticks on that one. So now at the 40-yard line, play action fake. You see the defense creeping up because of Walt. Uh, Gallman skills there and he gets the first down so now at the 40 yard line past the 50 yard line now second and 10 here's Alex Smith facing some pressure rolling out to the left side getting rid of the ball but getting hit on the throw and that's going to be intercepted by Desmond King 
And look at this again. Alex Smith gets hit on the throw, doesn't get enough on it. And that hit jars the ball loose into Desmond King's hands. And that's a turnover. One for each squad so far. So here comes Phillip Rivers back out onto the field, trying to throw the ball across the middle. That time it's broken up by Monte Nicholson, but on a third and 11. Here's Phillip Rivers having all day to throw, throwing to the exact same spot, but this time it's going to be caught there for the first down pickup. So now at the 30-yard line, here's Melvin Gordon still getting stopped. That time only one yard off of five carries so far. So now on a second and 11, getting it across the middle to Tyrell Williams one more time, and he has an open lane for the end zone, but he kind of hesitates and doesn't get there and he gets stopped inside the 10-yard line. So here on a second and goal, Phillip Rivers thrown across the middle, and that's his favorite target, Keenan Allen, for the touchdown as they now take the 7-3 lead to start this game. So here to start the second quarter, already flew through the first quarter. Here is Wayne Gallman getting a handoff to start the next drive, and look at this lane he has to the outside, and he picks up a huge gain on that one. And he's already at 81 yards already. So now on a second and 11 past the 40-yard line in opponent territory, getting the pass across the middle to Jordan Reed, a gain of three. So now on a third and seven, here is Alex Smith, clean pocket, throwing to the right side, but that's not going to be enough for the first. But we're being bold here. Fourth and two, why not? It's the Super Bowl going for it. Alex Smith from the shotgun, throwing across the middle. And that's a first down pickup. Nice catch by Chris Thompson. And, you know, having Geis on the injury report here and seeing that he gets hurt, it's definitely opened my eyes to Chris Thompson because I am rethinking re-signing him because plays like this, he can run out of the shotgun. He can, he can catch passes. He can do it all. So now we take the 10-7 to lead here going towards the middle of the second quarter is here is Gordon trying to get going but it's just not working for this offense so now on a third and seven here is Phillip Rivers throwing to the left side and he's gonna find his tight end but that's not gonna be enough for the first down as they do have to punt the ball deep to Jamison Crowder so I don't really show too many punt returns but this one in particular you see Jamison Crowder makes a man miss makes another man miss and he gets to the 50-yard line, and actually, that's the longest punt return of the season, 39 yards. So now we start this next drive out close to the 50-yard line. Here is Wayne Gallman getting a handoff and picking up a couple of blocks and getting down the sideline, and he is picking up a lot of yards on that one, and he's already over 100 yards. So now on a first and 10 at the 17-yard line, here is Paul Richardson getting the end around and picking up 10 yards on that one. So now on a second and goal at the five-yard line, trying to scramble, nobody's open, and that's a sack that time by meters. And now we're faced with a third and goal still at the six. And here's Al Smith dumping it out to Jamison Crowder, but he Bruh. can't turn up field. He runs out of bounds, and we do have to settle for another field goal on the goal line. So now here comes the... Chargers back out onto the field trying to put together a three minute drill as here is Phillip Rivers getting it off to Melvin Gordon and Melvin Gordon's breaking a tackle but not getting the first down but picking up 10 on that one so now on a third and two here at the 33 yard line throwing the ball to the right side and that's going to be caught nice catch that time by Melvin Gordon past the all pro former all pro in Josh Norman so now on a third and a second down pass, getting it completed to the left side for another first down. So now at the 46-yard line, here is Melvin Gordon getting past the 40-yard line. So they are driving here with under two minutes left. So on a third and nine, Phillip Rivers is going to throw it to the right side one more time, finding Travis Benjamin. Another move for another first down as this clock continues to run. So they have one timeout here. Under a minute left, but throwing the ball deep is Phillip Bruh. Rivers, and that one's almost picked off. Troy Apke has it in his hands and lets it go through. So now on a third and seven, gotcha, here is Kerrigan getting in for the sack. And you notice on that Pro Bowl list, Kerrigan was a Pro Bowler. 
So he gets his first sack of the game, and the Chargers do settle for a field goal going into halftime, and we have the 13-10 lead. So now to start this second half, we definitely want to keep running the ball as here is Gallman starting it out with a carry up the middle, and that's going to be a gain of a few because this offensive line is dominating their defensive front up to this point. So now on a second and six, running a pass out of the single back formation, and that's going to be a sack. Denzel Perryman gets in as we're now faced with a third and 13, but Corey Legion is there for the sack, and that's a punt. So three and out already to start the second half, but we do end up pinning them after a tress way. Remember, he's a all pro, a pro bowler inside the 10, but on the first play, DJ Swearinger is there for an interception at the 16 yard line. So we are set up already in the red zone. So here is Alex Smith giving the ball to Wayne Gallman on the carry, and he's picking up seven yards, dragging two defenders. And look at that, already at 125 yards rushing. So now on a second and three years, Paul Richardson getting to the one, and he just can't get in. But on a second and goal, handing the ball off to Gallman, and he's getting in to the end zone for the touchdown. And what a game he is having. Well over 100 yards. He gets the carry, and he's just been our horse right now. We're riding him all the way into this second half as here is Phillip Rivers almost making another mistake that's almost picked off by Troy Apke, but the drive continues here on a second and 10, getting it across the middle to Keenan Allen to pick up another first down. So now on a first and 10, giving the ball to Melvin Gordon, and he's finally getting a big run, this time 10-yard gain, and now they're at the 50-yard line on a second and one, but DJ Swearinger's meeting him in the hole on that one, and that's a loss of one. So now on a third and two, sending a blitz, but getting it away to Hunter Henry and Fabian Morrow. Look at this effort, putting it all on the line for the Super Bowl, and that's going to be another punt for this Chargers offense. So now here after the punt, Alex Smith under center, play action, fake, and look who's wide open. It's Jamison Crowder as he makes a move on a defender and gets into enemy territory at the 27-yard line for the biggest play from scrimmage so far for the offense. So now here is Gallman getting another handoff and another first down as they cannot hold him down in this game. So here we are giving it off to him one more time at the 14, and he's picking up five yards, another big gain on that one. So now on a second and four, getting it to Vernon Davis. He's taking a big hit. And who knows, that could be one of the last catches made by Vernon Davis in his career. So now on a third and goal, throwing across the middle, and that's thrown into the tightest window there possibly was on the field. And look at this. I mean, this throw couldn't have been thrown any better than that right before the defender gets there. And it's now a three-score lead here in the second half. But we've seen these leads disappear in Super Bowls. The last three have never been safe, as here is Phillip Rivers back out on offense, and that's going to be tipped. So yet another punt here for this Chargers offense. So we have a chance to possibly put them away. So on a play action on the next drive, first and 10, and that one's thrown on the money to Paul Richardson as he picks up the huge gain on that one, making it to the 24-yard line. And wow, I mean, this is why you need all these guys healthy. Paul Richardson, you need that speed guy. You saw he had the end around earlier. And just seeing him get open like this, it definitely just opens up the running game, opens up lanes inside of linebackers for Jamison Crowder. I mean, these second-level routes that are open are because of Paul Richardson because he stretches the defense like nobody else can. So now we're inside the five-yard line, third and goal here as we 
Struggle once again on the goal line, but rolling out to the right and finding Jordan Reed in the back of the end zone. And that's another touchdown as this offense in this playoffs has been unstoppable. It is now a four score lead going into the fourth quarter as here is Phillip Rivers. Can he pull off? This would be the ultimate miracle here in the fourth quarter. Down four scores, but here he is back out on the next drive. Throwing the ball yeah. deep, and that one's almost picked off by Monte Nicholson as he continues this drive, throwing the ball out to Hunter Henry in the flats. But now facing a big third and seven. If he doesn't convert this one, it might be over. And Fabian Morrow comes up with the interception. And that's a big time play as he makes it inside the 10 yard line as man. Fabian Morrow, only 73 overall, making plays here. And he's been the full time starter on the field every snap. He's never gotten hurt in this season. And he's just been amazing to say the least so now we do get the ball back inside the 10 but we do take a sack on that one but now on a third and goal throwing out to the left side and they just cannot stop this offense as Paul Richardson on a third and goal on the 13 yard line gets open and that's another touchdown 31 point lead eight minutes left in the fourth I mean this is just domination here in the second half as the Chargers have no answer on offense as our defense has just been shutting them down all game long. So here comes Phillip Rivers back out onto the field. Third and seven at the 45-yard line, sending the blitz this time. And DJ Swearinger, the MVP of this team has been DJ Swearinger, and I don't think it's been close. He's just been in on every game, a sack or at least an interception every game or making a forced fumble or something every game, and he's just continuing his magical season. So now back out onto the next drive after a punt. We get strip sacked, and look what happens. Alex Smith is down. But luckily, we're up 41-10 to 10 with six minutes to go, but it just does not look like Alex Smith is okay as he limps to the locker room, and that brings Joshua Dobbs in for the Super Bowl. But luckily... He has such a big lead. I mean, it would be a tragedy if he lost this with five minutes left. But we do end up punting the ball away as here is Phillip Rivers back out on the next drive. Throwing the ball across the middle. That one's tipped, almost picked off once again. So now on a third and nine, throwing the ball across the middle, and that one's completed as Hunter Henry picks up the first down. And now they're at the 35-yard line here with four and a half minutes to go. So now here's Phil Rivers throwing across the middle. It's picked off by who else but DJ Swearinger having himself a monster game. Two interceptions and a sack. I mean, he is just dominating Phillip Rivers. Look at that. I mean, that's the easiest interception that he's thrown. Four interceptions in this game. Easily Phillip Rivers' worst game of his career as he now sets us up yet another great field position here on this next drive so now on a second and one Joshua Dobbs under center giving it to Wayne Gallman and he's going to get stripped but it's not really going to matter three and a half minutes left but they do end up coming away with the turnover as Denzel Perryman comes up with it and the next drive continues so now here comes Phillip Rivers back out onto the field finding Hunter Henry once again for a first down but facing a second and seven here is Phillip Rivers throwing out to the left side, finding Keenan Allen on the sideline for the first down. So now on a first and 10 here at the 33-yard line, here's gotcha, Phillip Rivers feeling the pressure, and that's going to be J.J. Marble around the corner, the rookie, as he comes up with his first sack of the game. So now facing a third and 13, sending some more you pressure, that. and that's going to be picked off by Josh Norman. We know we could not complete this Super Bowl victory without a Josh Norman interception. And that is going to be the dagger here in this game as it's been quite a journey to get to this point, but we do it. We pull it off a huge victory in the Super Bowl, 41 to 10 as man. I mean, 
just the adversity that this team went through. Alex Smith going down, Geis not staying healthy, Paul Richardson being out of that lineup. Everybody's been hurt this season on the offense, it seems like. But we just showed up on the defensive end. 10 points to the number three offense in football, the Chargers. And, I mean, th this guy, DJ Swearinger, MVP of this game, two sacks, two interceptions. I mean, there's just been nobody better on this defense. But everybody had a hand in this Super Bowl. And going into the offseason, we do have a couple of, you know, things to do here. I mean, but, you know, we won the Super Bowl. So I do want to kind of... I don't want to start over, but I definitely want to move on. Probably from Alex Smith, I just want to play with a younger quarterback, see what it's like. But, you know, I don't want to get burnt out with this series. I definitely won the Super Bowl way faster than what I wanted to. It only took two seasons, and usually I'm a long-term franchise or dynasty guy. I don't like going just a couple of seasons, but, I mean, if you win the Super Bowl, if you win the national championship like in NCAA football, you might get burnt out because you've already reached the ultimate goal. So what do you guys think? I mean, should I continue this franchise and see what happens next season? I'm definitely going to up the sliders. That's one thing that I do criticize Madden for a little bit is that it's a little too easy to make your team great. And starting with a team like the Redskins, they were already good. But getting them to the Super Bowl in the second year and winning it, I mean, that's I mean, it was way too easy. It was way too easy. But what do you guys think? I mean, should I continue this or should I start another franchise maybe with another team or do an expansion franchise? I was thinking about this, doing an expansion franchise, picking up all free agents, a brand new team, and pretty much having to rebuild with all terrible players. You know I like the rebuilds. I like the tough uh, way of rebuilding just because it's more of a challenge. Like I said, Madden makes it a little too easy. Even with these sliders, I'm using difficult sliders as well. And it still seemed a little too easy. So, I mean, definitely next year or next franchise, whatever we choose to do, let me know down in the comments below what I should do. I mean, either way, I'm going to change these sliders, make them way more difficult than they are now. But, I mean, like this, like I said, they're already pretty difficult. So, hit subscribe, hit that like button. Like I said, let me know down in the comments what you guys think I should do. But we're still going into this offseason. I'm not going to end it if I do end up doing that right away. It's going to be kind of down the road maybe after next season if i do go that route but let me know what you guys want to do so stay tuned let's get it let's go